continue exercise 6e geometry question 9 we have a triangle abc then in triangle abc we have pq which is a straight line that straight line in mid ab in p and ac in q then we have ap equal 1 cm pb equal 3 cm aq equal 1.5 cm qc equal 4.5 cm then we have to prove that area of triangle APQ is 16 time area triangle ABC. We have the area, so we need to apply area theorem. And to apply area theorem, first we need to prove that the triangle are similar. So we need to compare triangle APQ and triangle ABC. So let us see the figure first. We have triangle ABC, then we have the point P. On the side AB, we have Q on the side AC. Then PQ is a straight line. So let us compare the ratio. We have AP, AB. Because we need to compare triangle APQ and ABC. So let us take the side AP by AB. AP, we already have, already given to be 1. Then AB, from the figure, we can write AP plus PB. AP given to be 1, PB equal 3. So 1 plus 3, 4. We cannot do anything, let it be there. Then compare the other side. We have AQ, short triangle, AC, big triangle. So that we can compare. AQ already given to be 1.5. AC from the figure, we can break it as AQ plus QC. So AQ we have 1.5, QC 4.5. So if we plus this 2, we get 6.5. Uh, we have one number after decimal up, one number after decimal down. So we can remove it by putting 0. We can sell. So 15 into 1, 15 into 4. So here we have 1 by 4, 1 by 4. That means the ratio are equal. So if you compare this 2, triangle the small one and the big one we already have the ratio of the side are equal to ratio of the side that mean ss then if we look at the angle we have paq in small triangle bac in big triangle which is the same angle that mean common angle so we have ratio of two side equal one angle are equal so what we can conclude these two triangles are similar. That means triangle APQ and triangle ABC are similar. So if they are similar, we can apply the ratio of the side. Uh, that means we can apply area theorem. So area triangle APQ by area triangle ABC. It's equal to AP square by AB square. We can say AP we know it is. 1, then AB we know 4. So 1 square by 4 square, it is equal to 1 into 1, 1, 4 into 4, 16. So this one now, we can cross multiply that side. So we get area triangle APQ equal to 1 by 16 times area triangle ABC. So we prove what the question 1. Then next question 10, we have triangle ABC and triangle BDE they are equilateral triangle then D it is the midpoint of the side BC we have to find the ratio of triangle ABC and BDE so first we draw the triangle ABC then we have D is the midpoint of BC okay so we join this one then we have triangle BDE. So we join it this way. Okay. Then what to do? We have to find the ratio of the big triangle and small triangle. That means this one ABC and BDE. So let us compare the triangle. They say that both the triangle are equilateral. So if they are equilateral, mean each angle is 60 degree. That means angle B will be 60 degree. Angle C 60 degree. 
angle A 60 degree. Then here also angle E 60, angle B 60, angle this one 60. So uh, three angle here 60 degree each. Here also three degrees, uh, 60 degree each, which mean that we have A A A. That mean the two triangle are similar. So if they are similar, we can use the ratio of the side. Okay. So we can take area triangle A B C by area triangle B E D. It is equal to B C square by B D square. Then B C we can break as B D plus D C because D already mentioned to be the midpoint. So if it is midpoint, that means B D equal to D C there. Okay. So in place of DC, we can write with BD. So BD plus BD, it will be equal to 2BD. So 2 into 2 will be 4. Then BD square, BD square, cancel. So that means we have 4 by 1. So the ratio of the big triangle to small triangle, it is equal to 4 is to 1. Uh, question number 11 now. AD is an altitude of triangle ABC. Then on AD as a base, we draw another equilateral triangle ADE. Then we have to prove that the area of triangle ADE by area triangle ABC equal to 3 is to 4. So we draw equilateral triangle ABC. Then we draw the altitude AD, then on AD we draw another equilateral triangle EDE. So we have to prove that the ratio of those two triangles is 3 is to 4. So we know that in an equilateral triangle all sides are equal. So that means we can take AB equal BC equal AC. Let's take it as A. Then we know that the height of the equilateral triangle AD, if we use Pythagoras theorem, it will be equal to root 3 A by 2. Then that means if this is root 3 A by 2, then this one also will be root 3 A by 2. This one also will be root 3 A by 2. Okay, those. So if we compare area of triangle ADE by area triangle ABC. It will be equal to uh, root 3 by 4 side square. So in place of ADE, we have this one, root 3 by 2, A whole square. Then in the case of ABC, we have only A. Then here, root 3 by 4, root 3 by 4 cancel. Then root 3 into root 3, 3, 2 into 2, 4. Then A square by A square, A square, A square cancel, 4 we can bring down. So the ratio is equal to 3 by 4. It's what the question 1. Okay, so that means we prove it. Then next we have number 12. Number 12, we have equilateral triangles are drawn on the side of right triangle. So first we have a right triangle. Let's say ABC. Then we draw equilateral triangle on hypotenuse on the base and on the perpendicular. Then next what we have to do, we have to show that the area of the triangle on hypotenuse, it is equal to the sum of the area on the other two side. Okay, so we know this is right triangle. So this longest side, we can take it as hypotenuse. So since this is equilateral triangle, this one will be H, this one also H. We take this side to be perpendicular, so that means the other two also will be PP because equilateral triangle. We take this one as base, then this two also will be a base, BB, since equilateral triangle. So let us plus this two triangle first with their area, okay, those. By Pythagoras theorem, we know that h square equal to p square plus b square. So if we plus this two triangle, 
area triangle P A P B by area triangle B E C. So we know that the formula for the equilateral triangle equal to uh, root 3 by 4 side square. So for this one the side is P, for this one the side is B square. Root 3 by 4, root 3 by 4 take common. Inside bracket we have P square plus B square. Then if you use Pythagoras theorem, this one equal to H square. So this is nothing but this is the formula for area of the triangle AQC. Okay, so do so that mean the area of this triangle on perpendicular plus area of triangle on base it is equal to area of triangle on hypotenuse. So we prove what the question one. Then next we have triangle thirteen. We have triangle ABC, P divide the side AB so that we have the ratio AP is to PB 1, 2. Q is a point on AC such that PQ parallel BC. So we need to find the ratio of triangle APQ by trapezium BPQ there, okay? So P divide the side in ratio 1 is to 2. Then Q is a side on C so that these two are perpendicular so we need to find the ratio of triangle APQ and trapezium PBQC so let us compare them the small triangle and the big one the line are 